Okay, we're going to continue with this banner animation. So what I've done now is I've just saved this file, let's say. I've got all these uh, layers with the country music stars, and I've saved it to the desktop um, as old-time country music stars. So now I'll go to Flash, right? And I'm going to create a new Flash file, File, New. And I'm going to use ActionScript 2.0. And I'm probably not going to be using much action script in this, but uh, just in case, I'll go with the older school action script. And first thing I'm going to do is in this file is I'm going to reset my background size, my document size. So I'll click on this button right here, size, and I'm going to change it from 550 by 400 to I believe, let's see here, um, 500 by 80. Okay, so click OK. Alright, and I'll change this to fit in window. And you'll see that now I have the much more narrow version that I'm going to work with. Now, my other animation has, let's see here, um, background layer graphic that is just, um, that matches the website. It's just some gray stuff here. So what I'm probably going to do is just copy that and paste it in. Now, how did I get that? I went to my website, and what I did was is I um, what I did was is I did a screen capture of the background on the website, and then I pasted it into Photoshop to get the exact because uh, it's a gray. It looks like solid gray, but believe it or not, there's a slight gradient to it, and I needed to get this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this keyframe. Let's see here, copy frame, and then go to my new file, click right on that keyframe, and then right click on it a second time, and paste frame. Okay, so in pops my um, background image. I'll control minus so you can see. So there it is. So now I have my background set for my new document. Call that background. Okay, so there on my first layer is my background. Now what I want to do is I'm going to import those country music stars. So I'm going to file, um, import, and I'm going to import to library. And let's see here. It's going to take a second. My computer is having hard times. Um, close out a version of Internet Explorer to make up some room, some, make some room for some more memory here. It's definitely time for a new computer. Okay. Um, all right. I will go to the desktop here and I will look for my file. And what's it called? Get to my files here. Old time country stars. So I'm gonna click on that. And and then um, Flash in CS3 and CS4 now will recognize that this is a Photoshop document. Now that Adobe has bought um, Macromedia Flash, there's really nice. Uh, it'll work right from. PSD file into Flash super nicely. So I can select each one of these. And what I'll do is I'll even, I'll even um, turn this into a movie clip right now. So I'll click uh, and create each one into a movie clip right off the bat. I don't see why not. Okay. All right. And I don't want my background, so that's fine. So I'll click OK. Convert layers to keyframes. No, just flash layers. And um, uh, OK. Flattened uh, bitmap image. Let's see if this works out nicely. Click OK. I have only used it uh, a few times. All right. All time country music stars. And drag them out, and nope, came in quite nicely. You can see that the transparency came in, and it's already in a uh, movie clip format. So um, I've already got them converted to movie clips. Um, their names are in layers, so that's kind of not so good. We'll see if um, we got a lot of aliasing. doesn't look like we got too much aliasing on this one. We got quite a bit of aliasing happening in the um, Loretta Lynn one. Um, and some aliasing in the other ones as well. So the 
The only way to fix that is to go back and go into my Photoshop document and really clean that up a lot tighter, which I might have to do right now. And I'll do that in the next video.